Baby, ¿qué quieres el ambón? Si la cago una vez, la caga dos. Te da sexo, pero es sin amor. Es como un perreo sin reggaetón. No hay sentido, ahora tomas porque te ha dolido. Pero ya que tú me ves con otros ojos, baby, deja ese estrés. Hey y'all, it's your girl Tasha Max, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is now 6:30, which means I have five and a half hours to get packed and situated for my trip to Spain. All right, this is what we're working with. We're only doing so. There's a check bag under there. We're not doing the check bag. We're only doing the carry-on and a personal item. This might be a little too big for my personal item, but I was able to swing it for my trip to Ghana. Um, so I think it'll be fine for this trip too. Okay, let's get to packing. And I'm using my DJI Pocket Osmo 3 with active track enabled, so it's following me around. Hopefully this keeps it up. My and although we're going in the spring, it is supposed to be a little cold. packing cubes which I am gonna use and I did want to lay out like the thicker stuff at the bottom first before I did that so Shout out to the people who actually buy the bride and groom gifts off of the registry. They put them on there for a reason, y'all. Like, we didn't have much on there at all, but the things I, I put on there were definitely necessities. Like these packing cubes that I'm gonna use over and over and over again because they just come in so clutch. Oh, Wait a minute, y'all. I think I'm good. I'm over here worried, like, this is before I even compressed it. Like, it's not that big. Before, before I even compressed it. Watch, as magic happens. Okay, we have a pack of all of my dresses. y'all okay, so it is 9.03 i'm not gonna have enough time to show y'all making this before i go because i still have so much to get done but this is what i got look it even rolls like i'm gonna print out a little ticket i was supposed to put a shot in here but it doesn't fit so i think i'm still gonna bring them or maybe purchase it there and then give this to her but super cute can't wait Let's get it. Made it to the airport. Y'all, the overpacker struck again because this is heavy. Like me. Thick like me. Have fun. I made it to Minneapolis. I am walking to my next gate to catch my connecting flight. I'm supposed to leave in like three minutes. Not 
Not three minutes, 30 minutes. Oh, look at the sunrise. Almost to my destination. My bag ended up getting checked at the gate because it was a full flight. Even though when I got on, there was still space in the overhead. <laughs> but it's whatever. Prayfully, my bag makes it to Chicago because that is the final destination where I'm meeting up with Clara. Okay, I'm headed to gate C6. This is my first time in this airport, actually. I made it to Chicago. Let's go find my baggage. And then meet up with Clara. She's here already. She came in maybe like an hour before I did. So I'm excited to see her. But I'm so tired, y'all. I'm so tired. Clearly, I didn't sleep last night. Took a red eye flight. Lost three hours of time. And my first flight, I could barely sleep. I was so uncomfortable. I had a seat that did not recline. I was like literally straight up and down. I put my bag away and didn't grab my neck pillow. Didn't want to be a nuisance and get up. So that was terrible. My second flight was only like an hour and 30 minutes. I slept the entire hour and 30 minutes. Even when they were, <laughs> I woke up just in time to grab my bag and get off the plane. I'm tired, but we're meeting um, a friend of Clara's. Well, she's meeting us, she's picking us up. Then we're gonna hang with her, but I hope, I hope hanging with her means us napping. We found her. <laughs> On a little side quest <laughs> to Ulta in Chicago. Small little town in Chicago. I don't know how small. I don't know y'all, but. Lake Waukegan. Lake Waukegan. I don't know if any of y'all heard of it, but that's where we at. <laughs> Taking a quick pick stop before our next flight to Madrid. It would be raining. Y'all, let me tell y'all, I ended up having to check my bag, right? And I get to baggage claim in the carousel and my suitcase is open. And two of my packing cubes are outside of the suitcase. I guess like it popped open or whatever. And so I get to our friend's space. I get to our friend's spot and I'm missing my hairspray and thankfully that was the only thing I think I'm missing um, I think it just fell out because the mousse the other hair product that I had in there is still there um, but yeah that was kind of frustrating I had to stand on my suitcase to shut it in person y'all saw how I struggled to to shut it at, back at home now I had to do that in front of everybody it is what it is y'all but don't be like me pack less Pack less. I should have checked the bag. Well, before we go, I have a ticket for you. <laughs> this is cute. <laughs> and it comes with two complimentary shots. <laughs> you're so cute. Aww. And your own personal carry on. Oh, you're so Bruh, cute. that's cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. These are like, uh, can you like testing? Mm hmm electrolytes, you're gonna need those. Yeah. <laughs> From Chicago to Spain, boarding, time in, we're capping down to Sun and San Clair's time. Spanish escapade, celebrating milestones in style. This is so cute. 26 year old student to 27 year old doctor. Period. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, thank you. You're, you're so welcome. Cute. Hey, let's go to Spain! Thank you, babe. <laughs> 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 
sin sentido yeah. Ahora tomas porque te ha dolido Pero ya que tú me ves con otros ojos Baby, deja ese estrés Que después de las doce Te vas a olvidar de él yeah. Y aprender un par de poses Como a los mexicanos Y un carnal, un polvito sano Y el vaya que nos calentamos Te hice una pelis pa' cuando chingamos Te acuerdas de ese motel La primera vez que probaste weed Y pasamos como debe ser El primer encaje, el primer masaje Y esa vez Te acuerdas de ese motel La primera vez Room tour <laughs> follow me. Don't follow me. Follow me. Oh. Don't follow me. <laughs> minerals and vitamins mm -hmm. are in the skin mm -hmm. to get a darker color mm -hmm. I mean darker rose or red wine mm -hmm. the maturation is then much longer here it's only 10 15 minutes okay. mm -hmm. but otherwise ooh. we calculate dark rose wine five six hours mm -hmm. Friends, what you can also try is the vinegar. We have here um, Thank you. orange vinegar. Mm -hmm. I'll pour on this side, like any salad, just a little bit of oil and just a little bit of the vinegar and the blackberry vinegar. This red pate or vinegar with rosé is also very fine. Enjoy. We made it to our wine pour and tasting oh this one is blowing my hair <laughs> yeah we rushed to get here quick quick a shower of my life got dressed left in getting dressed and unpacked starting to unpack i realized earlier when i told y'all my suitcase had opened <laughs> my bag right and i get to baggage claim in the carousel and my suitcase is open and i was like i feel like something's missing and I was right, my jewelry box with all of my earrings, bracelets, rings, necklaces, gone. Had my name on it and everything. Sick. Sick, literally sick, but it's okay. We're not gonna let that ruin the trip. We're having a great old time drinking wine in freaking Spain. Like, we're, it's okay, it's okay. We just gonna replenish my jewelry collection. I mean, it needed some revamping anyway, so if you have any suggestions on places I should be buying my jewelry from, specifically gold jewelry, I wear a lot of gold jewelry, not a lot of silver, go ahead and drop it in the comments for me, please. It would be a help, quite a help. So until then, I'm drinking my troubles away. Cheers. So it has a little bit more of a creamy taste, a little bit, but still the citrus and the freshness mm -hmm. as the other one. So where are you from? Um, we are from Florida. Ah, all the way from Spain. Two shots of vodka.
this point we're day drinking do y'all see how heavy this port is like <laughs> we're here for a good time not a long time and i'm i'm here for it i'm here for it all Mm. Good. Oh yeah, that's it. Day one is complete and in the books, even though today was not a complete, like, full day. It was maybe like a half, but I would say it was a success. Um, the winery was great, dinner was really good. Um, we found, oh, well, our hotel ended up having um, adapters for the plugs. Um, we also purchased some of our own too. We have a lot of devices to charge, so it just worked out, <laughs> honestly. Um, yeah, so we'll see y'all tomorrow to see what we get into, but good night for now. Well, folks. We are in Valdemosa, and it's cute. Don't get me wrong, it's a very cute town. It's just colder than what we had anticipated. Got our cute little beach bags, beach towels, and yeah, it's not giving. We're swimming anywhere. Um, also here in like the off season, so keep that in mind if you're traveling to Spain in April. Um, they kick tour season doesn't really kick off here until like end of end of April to early May, basically. We've seen people with scarves, winter coats. I, I, I don't even want to show y'all what we got on. I just know it's not that. <laughs> it's not that, but it's a, it's a really cute town. It's a really cute town. You're probably wondering how I got here. But it's not splashing that far. So y'all, the sun has clearly come out. The weather has taken a turn for the better. We're a little a little worried there. Um, but now we are in the town of Dea, going to grab some tapas, um, drink some sangria, and just chill out here for a little bit. So we finished um, our little tour of Valdemosa. Beautiful, beautiful town. We went to the port where I got soaked. Um, yeah, my, my face tastes like salt all the things but 
it was beautiful, a beautiful time. The roads were super narrow, so if you are planning to come to Spain, especially into the, these smaller towns and rent a car, um, I definitely recommend renting a car and I definitely recommend renting a small car um, just because it's so much easier to park. And like I said, a lot of these roads are kind of narrow, so it'll make maneuvering around the different cities a lot easier. to the pool we're gonna show by the pool do a little swim and enjoy the amenities that we paid for <laughs> but it's been, a, it's been a it's been a good day it's been a good full day so far the morning started off a little rocky but that's okay that's okay we redeemed ourselves the weather redeemed itself make sure you have good shoes you will walk you will walk and I was I was over here thinking I was over, yeah, definitely not your Tories. Not, not, not the flat shoes, you need some support. Them arches, them heels, them ankles need some support. Your back, we'll thank you later. Oh, I was over here thinking today we weren't gonna do that much walking. I was mistaken. I thought most of my walking would have, done, be done, would have been done in Barcelona. I'm getting my steps in. I ain't been in the gym, but I'm getting my steps in, so. We're making our way to dinner. We decided to go into the city to find food and everybody and their mama's here because it took us forever to find parking. Literally ducked off in the corner of a street somewhere. <sighs> but looking forward to uh, eating some more Spanish food. Authentic calamari and paella. Just... <sighs> If one thing about it, two things for sure, I'ma eat. I'ma eat. I'ma eat. Mm. The tiramisu eats. Just like everything else. Just like everything else, for real. We tore our food up. The calamari, <laughs> fire. The carbonara, fire. Told up. This tiramisu, fire. <laughs> Let's get ready for bed. Hey guys, so I'm Clara. She's acting like I'm her side chick on this strip. So I guess I'll introduce myself. She came on this trip for me and she's back in my mother. 
I definitely That's give an introduction do. in the beginning of my vlog. That's how they do. But I never truly know if people really want to be vlogged. So I always just, it's just me, you know? But this is the amazing best friend that I'm on this trip with. And yeah, she felt left out. So I'm glad y'all got to officially meet, even though you'll see her in plenty of footage before this moment. Um, I mean, yeah. I don't feel left out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what year or when I switched to using cleansing gels um, or balms to remove my makeup, but total freaking game changers. Like makeup wipes wear. Also, they're terrible for your skin, so don't be using those too often. How does this look? No, it's not, but I got this new eyebrow pencil from the beauty store near my house, and I just love how like light the color is. Like at first, when I was doing it, I was like, I don't see, I don't see anything coming off, but really, really freaking cute. I love it. But look how easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl the makeup freaking comes off, y'all. Like, that's it. night until tomorrow making my way downtown walking fast i'm here just checking on our car to make sure we don't get a ticket and it looks like we're good yeah looks like we're good y'all i'm gonna show you what the car looks like now after getting soaked after getting soaked by um the ocean yesterday it looks kind of crazy i think we we're gonna need to find somewhere to get it rinsed so that the salt doesn't mess up the paint. Hello. Reporting live from Sawyer with the birthday gal. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how people do this during the on season because it was a fight to find parking. And the spaces are tiny, the garages are tinier, so once again, I repeat, if you rent a car, get a small car. Small cars only. Windiest roads of my life, but we made it. Yeah, we made it. Not looking forward to driving back up. Uphill, through the mountain, back down the mountain, up again. Y'all, that, that was a lot. <laughs> Beautiful views. But yeah, be warned. San Calabro is not for the faint of heart, okay? Like, oh my, y'all, do y'all see this? I'm freaking real. And I'm standing pretty far away because we're not gonna have a repeat of yesterday. Okay, we're not getting swept away by the water. But this is stunning. But do y'all see these beats? Do y'all? Let's appreciate it. Because mm. we are the moment. We are. Yeah. And is. Period. <laughs> Oh, 
let's try the calamari here. Where we went yesterday. It was so freaking good. Oh wow, this is big pieces. Like it's fresh, it's crispy, it's good, but they're so the pieces are so big. This is no longer a baby squid. It's a gigantic squid. Like look, just gonna put them for myself. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Emerald of flower. Yeah. Everything's better in Spain. <laughs> Maybe I should move here. <laughs> oh shut up. <laughs> really though, like I'd love to live abroad. At least for some period of my life. Especially here. I'm not gonna have no This? Yeah, I could do this. This? This I could do. Thank you. Thank you. Another successful day getting ready for bed. Um, tomorrow is our boat day, so excited for that. We realize we're going a little crazy on the spending so far. We're only this is only our second full day. Tomorrow makes day three, full day. <laughs> we're here for a week. We're still headed to a whole nother part of this country, so yeah, we gotta we gotta cut it out. We we acting brand new. We acting real different. And anywho, I'm going to wipe this makeup off and see y'all in the morning. Headed to our boat tour. The sun needs to come back out though, because this is crazy. The room, our time in Mallorca has come to an end. Here we are at the end of the road. I am, we grabbed food before coming back here, but I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna eat and pack because our flight is early in the morning. So I'll catch y'all later. Next time you see me, I will be, we will be in Barcelona. Hopefully it treats us as well as Mallorca, if not better. <laughs>